So again, the uh, the shelving unit. Then we have Tiffany blue wallpaper on the walls in the dining room, and it's kind of a funky, almost like a fabric type feel to it with the big drapes. There's a door on the back here that goes out to the uh, breakfast nook area and the barbecue. The waterfall in the dining room. You can just see the water falling down on that. Then you walk into the kitchen. The kitchen has a hutch, or like a, not a hutch, a breakfast nook. So you could sit there and have your breakfast with the with a nice view outside. Kitchen itself, glass corner cabinets for displaying stuff, the sink, lots of cupboard space, the nice wolf stove and range, the uh, more cabinets, the microwave, the coffee maker, the big fridge, sub zero of course. TV against the wall, and there's the, the dining room, and a huge island right in the middle there, dishwasher on the island, lots of drawers. Everywhere you see there's drawers on this island, or drawers in this kitchen, and that's the back side of it. Let's see how much I can get in there. There's a good picture of the, the kitchen itself. So next to the fridge here, there's the pantry, which is just full of wall unit, empty shelves, another freezer inside here. And it's just a big, big room. Back out into the kitchen. And this is the mud room. So the mud room is supposed to be cabinets for the regular people, <laughs> upper cabinets for winter stuff. And then this other little one here will be a broom closet. The other side is actually a bench. So it's like a locker so the kids can have their area to do their thing. And then the garage door out into the garage. much to see in the garage because we haven't finished it off yet. That's where you're supposed to enter in. Backside shoe racking. So when you come in, put your shoes down, walk into the kitchen, and then you can go down the hall. Now the hallway itself has the other side of the fireplace, or the waterfall. So you can see the waterfall from there. On the other side is the uh, bathroom and back to the front door. So the waterfall, the idea of it is to let the light from the outside there come in on this side, but not, not so that you can see through it, right? Then the bathroom. We tried to do something different here. So we went with a bunch of curves. So it's a curved countertop. Right. Lighting that comes from underneath the cabinet and lighting from the top. So here the idea is you put your hands in front of the sink and the waterfall turns on and it pours water into your hands so you don't have to turn a tap on. And this is actually an elevator.